Hey everybody, it's Sharon again with another video. Um, just wanted to make a short, quick video today about wig grips and how to blend in your own hair. Um, a lot of blending, but how to make your front of your hair look most naturally. See, it looks like it's kind of growing out of my scalp. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I wear full wigs, as I mentioned in my first video that I made for religious reasons. Um, so I can never really make any videos with my own hair, you know, how putting on my wigs. I wish I could. Hopefully I'll end up on a model and that could do that for you guys. But this is going to have to do for now. So how I wear my full wigs is that I make myself a really low ponytail. And I know a lot of people have different ways of putting up their hair in, in um, wigs. They either, like, you know, take a, they put it very flat up with, like, a, you know, a clip or whatever. I just, I just shove it in. I don't really have time for that. Um, I don't have patience. So, yeah, I do sometimes have a little bit of a bump. But, you know, most of my friends and people know I wear wigs, so I don't really care to make it look super, super, like, flat. But if I go, if I go to, like, out whenever and I want to make it look really nice and flat, then I will, you know, take the extra time to, like, you know, make two braids and twist it and do this whole thing that people do. But I just shove it in sometimes. Anyways, so I make a little ponytail, and I take my wig grip. So there's imp it's important to know that on a wig grip, a lot of people say that the wig grips don't work for them. They always slide for them, etc. I mean, it depends on the quality of the wig grip. I hope to sell them one day. Um, I haven't had time to even, like, think about these. I've been working on a lot of custom orders. But there's two sides to a wig grip. One side is, like, a sliding side, and one side... There's only one side of it that's, like, a grip side. So let's see. So this happens to be the sliding side. See? If you put this on your head, it won't hold the wig. It's going to slide back eventually. But there's a grip side. Let's see if it's this side. Yeah. So this side... It's grips. It doesn't slide. It's very hard to, you know, to slide back. Sometimes when like, my hair is like freshly washed and it's very soft and silky, then it's, you know, it sometimes does slide after a couple hours, but usually it doesn't. I always wear my wig grip. It's super comfor comfortable. Um, I'm wearing it right now with this one. It's sliding back a little bit just because I, I made a first video and, and it got cut short. My phone died, so I had to do it again. But I usually wear it like, up to here. Um, and this way I don't need a... Um, comb in or clip in anything um you know it's, it's pain free it doesn't really bother me at all um so yeah it's super comfortable so as i said before there's two sides make sure you're putting on the right side this is the grip side so i would just put it by the hairline and wrap it around underneath my ponytail and just you know close the velcro on the bottom there's velcro they just like and it's basically like a little headband you know what you, you wear and then you just you just place your wig on top of it um, if you're curious what I'm wearing today, I'm wearing a full hentai wig. It's for a client custom order. She wanted me to take some pictures of it for her on my head. Um, so I did. I thought it was really pretty, so I said, why not make a new video with a new piece? So I did, and I wanted to just show you how to make it in front look more natural. I usually wear it more up front, but I take a rat tail comb. You could buy this for like a dollar or two in like on eBay or Amazon or your local beauty supply store and I take the ends of it and I I've already done this before so they're already out but I wanted to just show you again um I just like pull these pieces out it's like fine little baby hairs whatever you don't have to I make my pieces with a natural front you see all these little flyaways this is not my hair this is actually from the wig I add them I add like little baby hairs to the front so that even if you have no hair in the front it still looks pretty natural I know a lot of people like lace fronts. I can make with lace fronts. I can do bleach knots, not bleach knots. I personally have a weird hairline, so lace fronts just don't look good for me because, like, you know. Um, but if you like them, then I can totally do it. It's no problem. Um, a lot of people also, I know a lot of people like, a lot of my clients are topper wearers. Um, they wear 